Years ago, the heretic kingdoms cried out for liberation. Now, a new darkness arises. The world of dreams is falling into shadows. Um, so here with Games Farm, they uh, develop uh, Shadows of the Kingdom and can you explain to us, to us what, what is Shadows of the Kingdom? Shadows uh, is a sequel to Cult of the Kingdoms, uh, not very successful game uh, RPG uh, actually, which was released like 10 years ago. And uh, it's the game which is based on the duality of the world, the similar to uh, its predecessor Cult. And uh, it's an isometric style RPG as you can see. Uh, with uh, real-time combat and uh, with a very, uh, I would say, hardcore-oriented uh, dialogues, so um, and the RPG system, and so so it's a rather mixture between Baldur's Gate and uh, Diablo. If it was not so successful, the the previous game, why did you decide to make it make a new one? Well. Uh, we always loved to, uh, the RPGs and uh, we always wanted to come back. Uh, we started uh, with the Heart of Kingdoms and this is uh, our, let's say, child. So we wanted uh, to realize more uh, games in this uh, world. And uh, this was one of the main reasons. We have been developing a uh, lot of F, uh, prototypes in the meantime, but uh, this is the first one which make it uh, to, the, to the, this final stage. And uh, there, there are a lot of uh, old school RPGs coming out now. So a lot of the also smaller teams try to uh, make make RPGs for the f in the old style. Um, do you think there's um, there's uh, a lot of people so, uh, looking for these kind of games? Well, uh, I cannot say yet. Uh, we don't know about the future success of the game, but uh, we have so many unique features, and we are bringing, uh, we, I believe, a lot, a lot of new. Uh, fresh ideas uh, to this genre. So I, even though uh, we have a uh, lot of dialogues, we have uh, action, uh, real-time oriented combat. Uh, we have uh, you know decisions which which matters. Well, and uh, I mean we are, we are, we are using uh, shadows uh, as a one of the main features of the game, which is connected to uh, the gameplay. And uh, I mean. Lot, lot of other features too. Uh, yeah, in, in Shadows there are there are two worlds, right? That there's one world and the shadow world. Yeah, shadowy. Um, what does it mean for the gameplay? It's a very important part of the game, gameplay. There are places, uh, as, you, as you can see, this this is the shadow realm, and uh, it's uh, more a spiritual realm, uh, which is parallel to our normal mortal realm, and. Uh, it's simply different. There are even places uh, where you can get only in shadows. So there are there are different enemies. You can meet their ghosts. You can meet their spirits. Uh, you can talk to the people who are long dead. Uh, some enemies uh, are presented in both worlds. So it's really connected to all uh, all gameplay features. There is there's one main character who's also a de demon, yes. and he and he controls other characters. Yes. Uh, as I said, uh, the shadows are presented in most of the features of the game. And uh, the demon, which is the main character of the game, you start uh, the game as a, as a demon who can consume the souls. And uh, this demon, uh, the devourer, he only exists in the shadows. But uh, the, the, when he consumes the souls, he can uh, manifest, uh, materialize into them, uh, into our realm. So this is the way how, how he gets to us. There are uh, 15 characters in the game, and uh, so player can choose uh, various types of the souls, consume, uh, consume them through the game, and uh, they can decide which, which souls at, at some points there are, there are uh, places where he, the, the player will have to decide which soul to consume. Uh, so this also adds a lot of, to the replayability value in the game. 
you say we uh, we played you well. You how how long how long will this game be when it's coming out? Uh, it's coming out uh, in November, uh, the book one, and in the February the book two. And uh, the players who buy the book one will get the book two for free. So it's not like uh, we are dividing the game into two separate products. It's just one product, and uh, but we need more time to polish yeah. the final chapters. So. And how, lo how long is book one? We estimate that uh, overall the time of the gameplay for one character is approximately 30 to 40 hours. But uh, at the beginning of the game you can choose from three main souls. Each of them has a uh, separated quest, uh, they have a separated storyline, even the NPCs react differently, they have different dialogues. So to fully experience the whole game uh, as we designed it, you need to play the game three times. So It's uh, two books, the 30 hours. Uh, it's both books, yes, 30 to 40 hours. So it's quite, uh, you can pl play a lo long time with that game. <laughs> yeah, yes, you can play it a long time. Uh, we already have some, some players who spend the, uh, in the early access uh, like 30 hours, while according to our estimates it's like five to seven hours. So, Okay, yeah, thank you.